Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is a happy little haul, but I do have the Mental Health Awareness Early Access Collection, plus a couple things from Mother's Day, plus the Woof Box for my dogs, and I think some just goodies in an extra little brown container over here. So let's just dive right on in, starting out with the Early access with the mental health awareness and I love the packaging on this so I am seeing a pattern now with Scentsy last fall we had the breast cancer awareness collection and now we're dealing with this which is I think a very important cause for us to be thinking about all across the world there are people that are struggling with things sometimes ourselves included and we need to be very sensitive and kind to them so this mental health awareness spotlight I think is a good idea so our early access bundle includes blue lavender and bergamot chamomile and vanilla lemon and mandarin and rosemary and mint and I really like herbal soft sweet scents so I am hoping that some of these or all of them are really going to knock it out of the park for me so they have beautiful sweet gentle springy earth tones so let's start out with the blue lavender and bergamot and there are other things in this collection there's going to be a very special weighted comfort type scentsy buddy and we have what else do we have in here we've got truman the terrier who is the weighted scentsy buddy he's going to be 45 dollars and we also have i think some soak we've got some um, some oils and things like that and it should be just a very nice calming collection and I don't know that I'm personally going to order the little snuggle buddy but I think that it's a really unique and fantastic idea so let's get back to these the blue lavender and bergamot says lavender bergamot and a touch of eucalyptus encourage rejuvenation with every breath and it's that really nice like spa blue that we all think of when we think of calm Oh, this is good. Ooh, this is my kind of scent when it comes to spring because it is sort of fresh and herbal and clean and calming. Mmm, it's really good. Yeah, you definitely think spa when you smell this. You think relaxation. So, lavender, bergamot, eucalyptus. I get all of that, but it's not too sharp. Like, eucalyptus isn't really uh, biting or anything. And it is such a nice spring day that I have my screen door open. I don't have the screen rolled down, but I do live by a busy road in case you're hearing any road noise. I just really want the sunshine and Truth is over there enjoying his look into the front yard. So if he gets up and starts barking, he's probably thinking the robin out there is going to eat us alive. But anyway, hopefully he won't see any while I'm filming. So next we have chamomile and vanilla. And this is the one I'm personally the most excited about. So that blue lavender bergamot is really good. If you liked blue sage and tonka, but maybe push it a little bit more herbal and sharp, that's that blue lavender and bergamot. All right, so the chamomile and vanilla. Chamomile flower, sheer vanilla, and a meditative moment of calm. And this is one of my favorite colors of all time, this beautiful butter yellow. I used to paint my whole house this, and then some things happened, and now I do more of the ivories with the greens, which, oh, this is good. With brown accents is great, but sometimes I do just crave this beautiful buttery yellow. And I miss it. Oh, this is really nice. This might be one of those club worthy bars for me because I really like cozy, cuddly, sweet herbal. We'll see how it throws. So chamomile and sheer vanilla. I guess they really put a lot of layers on the chamomile because this is pretty complex for just those two scents. It's very nice. I almost smell a little tiny hint of citrus here. And I'm thinking that that's just the chamomile because sometimes when you drink chamomile tea or you smell like a chamomile potpourri, it's there. So that is really, really good. Probably a medium strength. The other one might be medium strong. Next, we've got lemon and mandarin. A citrus infusion of Meyer lemon and mandarin lightens the mood with a hint of lime. So this is a really pretty, oh, it's, that's not fair on camera. This looks a lot dirtier. It's a beautiful, happy, clear, light sherbet orange. So pretty. Lemon and mandarin. Oh, this is nice. This is almost maybe a little bit sharp and cleaner. Oh, no, the bottom's sweeter. This is good. Meyer lemon and mandarin and a hint of lime. I think that hint of lime makes it go maybe a little bit soapy, but it's it's very nice. Mm, this is pretty. Now, between this and the glorious grapefruit that is in our garden collection right now, I prefer more of the sweetness. There's more of a juiciness to that glorious grapefruit. This is more cleaning or soap it's a little bit more tailored definitely more herbal 
I will enjoy it, but I don't know that this will be my favorite of the group. And last is rosemary and mint. And a long time ago, we had this beautiful herbal rosemary something or other and bring back my bar. And I've got like two pathetic little cubes that I hoarded somewhere downstairs in my collection. I'm hoping that this will kind of be like that because I miss having a rosemary scent in my arsenal. So we've got a rush of fresh garden mint invigorates rosemary oil and eucalyptus. So I don't know if this might get a little bit too, too sharp. We'll see. Oh no, this is good. Okay, a rush of garden mint. I don't get that. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is really what I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to dig out those other cubes of that old bar, which is stronger than this. This might almost, for a few people, maybe be a little toothpastey. But I think for what I want in an herbal of this kind, this is what I want. Garden mint, rosemary oil, and eucalyptus. Yeah, it's all on the pretty soft and subtle side. This is really nice. I think this is going to be very, very soothing. This reminds me quite strongly of like a soothing, calming oil blend. So this is really good. Mm. So let's sniff them all one more time. The blue lavender and bergamot. I think that this one might be the strongest on throw. Oh, this is so nice. I really, really like this. Mm. Lavender, bergamot, and eucalyptus. This is just so so spot on good spot soothing probably my favorite is going to be the chamomile and vanilla yeah it's just happy this is happy and cozy like right now i have all this beautiful spring sunlight streaming through my windows here and this bar just goes with that it's the right color it's just wonderful the lemon and mandarin I will melt that, but for me, it might be a little bit sharp, but it's good. It's almost kind of icy with the citrus. And then this one I think will be nice. This is very classically herbal, this one. And very soothing. Mm, just kind of takes me back to the 80s. It, almost a little bit like Vicks Vapor Rub, but not too much. Don't get creeped out or anything. It's not going to be as strong as Just Breathe, and people love that. It's really good. Okay, so I mean, unless when we get it in the warmer, it's stronger. I am very happy with these. And between this and the garden collection, these are probably going to be personally my favorite collections that we've had. Although the next one that I'm gonna show you that we've already done once and I've melted, the ones for Mother's Day, these are so much nicer than I thought that they were going to be. So I've already reviewed this with you guys once. So I'm not gonna go over this in too much detail, but there are three beautiful, bars in the Mother's Day collection. So this is my second order of them. We've got courage, kindness, and strength here. So I will sniff them again just in case you missed that video or you missed the last reviews. My favorite of them is strength and this is so pretty. This is the sweetest fruit but with a little bit of I think it's amber so it almost has like a floral after or body care after note. This is so nice. This is going in my club at least for a while, it is just fantastic. So then kindness is almost more laundry meets floral and it's very strong, but in a good way, it's not too much. So take some of like a magnolia type scent, shove in, not really magnolia linen, but shove in a little bit of clean breeze and that's what you get and it's, it's gorgeous. I think that this is also available in fragrance flower and then, excuse me, courage is very nice for a bedroom space. This is so good. So this one has more of that kind of like a pink haze or a sweet amber and freesia or add a little bit more berry to that. Like there's raspberry in here. A sweet body care fruity scent. But then you add all that like muskiness. Oh, it's so good. So these three are home runs for me and I'm going to be ordering more of at least a couple of those and get a stack. And then that one may go into my club. So after that, let's do... This says woof, woof box, but it's supposed to be the woof box. And being that I have my two German Shepherds, yes, this is the woof box. I thought it would be fun to do this. So <laughs> first thing in here is a toy. And we now have a participant over here. Truthy, do you want to come get your toy? I don't know if I can get him in here so that you guys can see him. Come on, come here, come on, come come can you come over here i've got everything all blocked off because i'm trying to film but i i can't even turn the camera around or anything i wish you guys could see my babies are extremely interested in this so i'm going to hand them and this will be shredded in five minutes because i have german shepherds this adorable sensi exclusive 
<laughs> flying saucer squeaky ball here you go moose so if you guys want to see him play with this i'll do a couple of photos for instagram he's like i don't know mom that smells really weird <laughs> so we'll see if they like that i think that they will so then all the things in this woof box are in jammy time so we have dog detangling spray and my dogs don't really need this i might use it on truth right here where he has a good bit of scruff because he's a big old male shepherd who needs to use lose five more pounds but daddy doesn't think so so he keeps feeding him so then we have the pet shampoo and i love the shampoo my favorite was i think the lavender and coconut they don't do that anymore and then the real reason that i ordered this box because you can't get it separate is the dog deodorizing spray i love this stuff depending on how long this woof box lasts i may order another one because this if this scent is good is gold for me ah oh, let's see here oh this is nice guys yes you guys are gonna smell so much better not be so sweaty Mm, yep. So the Jammy Time has lavender and sweet pea and freesia in it, and this is very subtle. There's nothing here with the dog products that are really going to weigh your pet down or make them itchy or anything like that. And my, especially my male, has a very sensitive skin, and this never bothers him. So I really, really like these. So we have the deodorizing spray, the no knot spot detangling. Let's see how this works. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, it smells the same. So it's just a subtle, pretty much very lavender and sweet pea kind of scent. And then here is the actual uh, shampoo. Ooh, this is good. So this, yeah, I say Jammy Time was a good choice for their next one. I know they did black raspberry and vanilla last, I think fall or summer, and I did snooze a little too long on that one and when I went to get it it was gone so we have all of this and I believe that the woof box is $35 and that is a pretty fair price for a toy and all three of these so I'm very happy about that I hope that that is still available I think that it is and I'm excited about that so next we're going to open my box here of little goodies and then we have one last surprise item that's from the Mother's Day collection to take a look at Typically, I'll open this one at a time, but I thought, you know, I don't remember what I ordered, so it'll be more of a surprise if I open the box with all of you. <laughs> okay. So we have one. Oops. Ah. As I throw things, I have one of these wonderful um, scent packs that's going to go in what we will unwrap last, and that's going to be in strawberry lemon cake. And they did update clearance. So I do have in here, and I'm not sure if this is still available either, I think they are, two of my all-time favorite brick that Scentsy has ever produced, Sweet Orange Pomander. I was so excited. It was the first day of April. I was scrolling through clearance because I try to look at that occasionally if gems like this end up in there, and I'm like, oh, Sweet Orange Pomander's back. So if I knew that you were one of my customers and you were a spiceaholic, you got a text or a something, an alert of some kind about this. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. It is so spicy. It is so strong. A very particular group of people that like this. But I have a bar of this in my quarterly club. But since I always skip one of those shipments per year, I get three dinky little bars of this scent. And I love this smell. And especially in the fall winter, I melt a very large volume of this and it is so good on performance. So it's heavy, heavy duty spices with what I feel is orange peel that's dried. And October, November, December, January, and really any time that you have a rainy day where you just want a cuddly spicy pick me up. This is old fashioned and it's fantastic and it's probably the thing I'll be the most excited about in this whole haul because I just love this and I'm so glad that it's back. So now I have, I think most of an old brick, a little bit of a crumbled, very sad looking stash of brick bits that are in one of these clams. And now two glorious, beautiful, all new bricks to tide me over, plus my three bars a year, I should be good. So if you love spice and this is still available, please, please, please go pick up Sweet Orange Commander. It's amazing. Okay, so that commercial's over. Another thing that was in clearance was Bright Cider Life in hand soap, which I really, really like. And I just picked up a Winterberry apple tea in another haul. I don't really like to pay full price for the soaps because they are quite expensive, but they last a long, long time. And especially some of the fall smells or the spicier smells, I really like those. And the other one that I still have one of is Hibiscus Pineapple. If that shows up in clearance and you like summer, 
that is a great, really creamy and beautiful kind of a tropical scent that's really good in soap, but they don't carry any of those anymore unless it pops up in clearance. So next we're gonna do the little bundle of bars we've got in here. So let's see what I ordered. I can tell you this, I have fallen in love with Very Vanilla. So I'm going through quite a bit of that. I have three of them here because it's just something I'm melting through at a very high rate and it is so beautiful. It's like sweet, perfumey, marshmallowy vanilla. It is sweet and feminine and just, oh, it's just lovely. So it's not super duper strong, but it's very, very pretty and strong enough that in my home, which is a smaller ranch, it's a 70s ranch that just has normal ceilings, no real places where drafts are gonna lose things and smallish to medium sized rooms. This does quite well and I'm really happy with it. Okay, the other things that I have in here are a few other just kind of random bars that I ordered. Let's see. We've got a Mahalo Coconut, which is a really beautiful scent that's in the Spring Summer Catalog. This is really lush. It's tropical and creamy. It has a little bit of violet, I think, or violet leaf. Some greens, but it's got like this coconut and pineapple with all of that. It just makes you want to go get your sundress on and go lay in a hammock and sip a drink. It's so beautiful. And then after that, I've got Camu Camu, which is another really nice get in the mood for the tropics kind of a smell. This one's more fruity though. It's like passion fruit. I'm not sure what else is in here. Maybe pineapple and just other really bright, juicy, tropical things. But the passion fruit is predominant and it's really happy. I think May and June when I think of that bar. Then I've got a Hibiscus Sunset, which is from our current garden collection. I'm loving all three of the new ones and I like all of the old ones. So if you have not tried that, there is the Hibiscus Pineapple, the Glorious Grapefruit and the Garden Fresh Gardenia. They're beautiful. This one is the most fruity, juicy, very with the Hibiscus. It says Hibiscus Sunset. It's got the Hibiscus, it's got pineapple. It's very happy, very, very nice smell for late spring, early summer. This would be really good with Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. So please try that. And then I didn't pick up any more at the moment of Glorious Grapefruit or the Garden Fresh Gardenia, but they're both amazing. Mango Matcha. This was new last year, spring, summer, new release. This is so good, you guys. This would also be really good with the Hibiscus Sunset. This is a really juicy mango. And then it's got the little bit of sort of a green tea and some salt. And everything is just fantastic and happy and bright and some cucumber in here too. Really, really good. Okay, I have a bar of White Amber Antique, which is a personal favorite. It's like a smooth, almost leathery cologne scent with some wood and some musk. Mm, it's so nice. It's updated. I will be ordering Mystery Man for <clears throat> a certain video that y'all all, when I asked what do you want to see, <laughs> there was one thing y'all want to see. So I'm working on it. Anyway, I'm going to need a bar of Mystery Man if that gives you any hints. And Woodland Meadow, this is so good. So this is kind of along the same vein as your mahogany teak wood type smells, but this is a little bit lighter, a little bit more feminine. This is sort of like a walk in the park with your dog on a late spring day where the daisies are swaying and the ferns are there and maybe somebody has some fresh cut wood on the side, I don't know. Anyway, this is really good. You can see that orange pomander brick just totally picked up my mood and now I'm all hyper and happy. I feel more like I'm doing a fall haul, which of course are my favorites. Anyway, so Woodland Meadow is really good and I enjoy this and it's good for someone like me who I prefer more of the fall and winter smells. And so that kind of goes there without being too heavy in a nice way. So I think that that is everything except for our last little item here. I do love a good Scentsy Buddy, and I don't know what I'm going to do with her, but Dolores the Duck, and look at the packaging, you guys. Is this not the cutest? Look at that. Is our new Mother's Day Buddy. And being the mother of two girls who are now pretty much full grown, my younger one just got her license, and while I am filming this, literally is her first solo drive. So I asked her to text me when she gets where she's going. Anyway. As a mother, and I do love cuddly stuffed animals and ducks are so adorable. I just, oh, look at this. Thought it would be so much fun to do this on the channel. So this is Dolores the duck with her little duckling and she's so cute. This is a nice one. You know, this is extremely tactile. Like they're all made out of different things. This would be especially nice for a young child, I think, this one. Oh, this is so, look at 
look how cute. Look at the little baby ducky. And we're going to put strawberry lemon cake into Dolores and her little baby. So what should we name the baby? Definitely needs to be a girl name since I have two girls. And you guys come up with something super cute that we can name Dolores and her little baby. So then every Scentsy Buddy, there's going to be a place to put the scent pack. So strawberry lemon cake, which I'm hoping it will be good. Sometimes the bakery ones are really weird and sometimes they're delicious. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. It should be like buttercream, lemon, strawberries. Ooh. Okay, this is good. You guys like bakery? Honestly, this is more bakery than the bar. This is delicious. Okay, I picked the right one. So Dolores is going to get strawberry buttercreamed. And we are going to shove this into what's a little bit of a tight fit here. Did I not zip this up all the way? No, this is a pretty, pretty tight fit. So you're going to squish this into Ducky's rear end here. Actually, it's her back. And we're going to zip this up. And we're going to have Dolores and her baby smelling like delicious strawberry lemon buttercream. So this is Elizabeth Quinn and it always has these uh, adorable little scentsy patches somewhere on the buddies. This is Elizabeth Quinn for Liz with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents enjoying her slightly scattered um, April haul. So we have the woof box. We have our wonderful Mother's Day duck. We've got the Mother's Day bars. We have the mental health awareness collection. This is really good, you guys. When it is time to release these, let's see, it probably shut me out. No, we're good. May the 1st, you guys will be able to get the whole collection for the mental health awareness. And these are $24 because there is a donation of $6.00. And it is very important that we are able to give back to people in these different ways with these awareness collections. And you really like that Sensi has changed some of what their marketing is to include things like that. And they always do a charitable cause warmer every six months, and those are wonderful too. I don't have the one for now, but I did have the last charitable cause warmer from the fall, which had the hearts all over it, and it was just gorgeous. This time we have one with cherry blossoms. So anyway, I'm rambling. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.